hello guys welcome back do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now let's solve this problem which says that the forearm biceps supports the 2 kg load at a if c can be assumed as a pin support determine the resultant internal loadings acting on the cross section of the bone of the forearm at e the bicep pulls on the bone along bd so this is the bicep and the bicep applies the force along this BD line which is making 75 degree with the horizontal and point C is uh, this joint C is considered to be a pin joint and we are asked to find the internal loadings at the cross section through this point E so this is our free body diagram so here I will have the weight of the ball let's say so the weight is 2 kg so the mass is 2 kg so the weight will be 2 times 9.81 so let, let me write it is 2 multiplied by 9.81 so so this is 19.62 newton so let's write that this is 19.62 newton and here we have that point c so at point c we will have um cx support reaction and we will have CY and this is that point E where we want to find the internal loadings and at B this is our point B so at B we will have the force along BD so let's represent that force which will act from B to D like this and this force is making uh, 75 degrees with the horizontal this is given that this is making 75 degrees so it will have two components this is let's say F B D so it will have one component in the horizontal direction like this and it will have one component in the upward direction so this one is so now is uh, the angle is made with the horizontal then this component will be the cost component so we can say that this component is F B D cos of 75 degrees and this one will be F B D sine of 45 degrees uh, a sine of 75 degrees let's see so now if we apply the sum of the moment about point C that must be equals to 0 so the sum of the moment about point C and the counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive so cx and cy they are passing through point c they are not going to produce the moment about point c and this component is also passing through this point c so its moment arm is zero so this is producing uh, the counterclockwise moment so we will say that f b d sine of 75 multiply by its moment arm so its moment arm will be this distance from b to c so from b to c this distance is 35 plus 35 so it is uh, 70 mm so I will multiply this with 70 there is no need to convert the units since they will cancel out uh, so 70 mm and then this weight is producing the clockwise moment so I will write minus this is 19.62 multiply by the moment arm so the moment arm of this point A uh, of the, the distance of this point A from that point C is this length which is 230 plus 70 so this is 300 so 230 plus 35 plus 35 is 300 so multiply by 300 mm this is equal to 0 so from this we can find fbd so fbd will be equal to 19.62 into 300 divided by 70 sine of 75 so this is we can say 19.62 into 300 divided by 70 sine of 75 so this gives us 87.051 so 87.05 newton let's say so now once we find this fbd we can apply we can uh, consider this uh, ae segment of the forearm to find the internal loadings at E. There is no need to find Cx and Cy if, you, if we are going to consider um, this right hand side of the cut section. So I'm going to consider the right hand side. So now 
again I have to pass a cutting section through E. So we need to modify this um, free body diagram. Let me copy it and modify it for you guys. So this will be now let me erase this cx cy because we are not going to consider point c so now this will be our free body diagram there here we have that point e and again we have that uh, F, B, D, cos of 75. And at E, we will have the internal loadings at else. Uh, at, we will have the internal loadings as well, right? So at E, we will have the normal internal loading. And E, we will have the shear force parallel to the cross section. This will be V, E. And we will have the bending moment as well. So let's say that the bending moment is... M E and it is in the clockwise direction and this particular point is point E right so this is point E now to find uh, an E V E and M E now we are going to consider this segment this segment A E right I have cut through here so I have removed this part and I am considering the right hand side of the cut section so we are going to consider segment a E to find the internal loadings which are required. So now if we apply the sum of the forces in the x that must be equals to 0 towards the right is our positive x direction. Now N E is towards the left so it's negative so I will write minus N E and we have this F B D cos of 75 it is in the negative direction as well so I will write minus we know F B D magnitude which is 87.05 cos of 75 this is equal to 0 and from this we can say that minus n e is equal to 87.05 cos of 75 and if we multiply both sides with negative sign so we get n e equals to uh, minus 87.05 cos of 75 this gives us 22.53 so n e is equal to 22.53 Newton and the minus sign tells us that the zoom direction is not accurate so it is acting towards the right since we have assumed that it is acting towards the left but since we got the negative sign this means that the normal internal loading at the cross section through E is 22.53 and it is towards the right. Now to find VE we have to apply the sum of the forces in the Y that must be equal to 0 upward direction is considered to be positive. Now we have this VE which is acting in the positive direction so plus VE then we have the sine component of FBD, so we will write plus FBD, so FBD is 87.05 sine of 75 and this weight is acting downward which is minus 19.62 and this is equal to 0. So from this we can say that VE is equal to minus 87.05 sine of 75 plus 19.62 minus 87.05 sine of 75 plus 19.62 this gives me VE equals to minus 64.46 Newton and again the minus sign tells us that the zoom direction is not accurate VE is actually in the downward direction so we, we can say that VE magnitude is 64.46 Newton and it is acting in the downward direction Similarly, to find Me, we have to apply the sum of the moment about point E that must be equal to 0. Counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive. Now, Me is, we have assumed that it is in the clockwise direction. So, we will write minus Me. And <clears throat> this uh, cost component is passing through E. So, it's not going to produce the moment about point E. And this sign component is producing the counterclockwise moment. So, we will write plus. FBD is 87.05 sine of 75 and the, the moment arm of this component from that point E is 35 right since we 
the distance between point B and E is 35 mm. So we will multiply this with 35. And here if you guys want to convert this 35 into meters, then we will get the answer in Newton meters. So let's convert this. So 35 mm divided by 1000 will be 0 0.035. So let me write it as uh, 0 0.035. So 0 0.035 meters and similarly this weight is producing the clockwise moment about that point E. So you will write minus 19.62 multiply by the moment arm of this weight from that point E. So this is the moment arm which will be equal to this 230 plus 35. So 230 plus 35 is 265 mm. Two 30 plus 35, 265 divided by 1000, so which is 0 0.265. So 0 0.265, this is equal to 0. So now if I bring this Me to the other side of the equation, it will become positive and we will be left with all this, right? So we can say that Me is equal to 87.05. Let me write it like this, 80. 7.05 sine of 75 multiply by 0 0.035 minus 19.62 multiply by 0 0.265 so this gives us minus um, 2.2 6 Newton meter and again the negative sign tells us the assumed direction is not accurate Me is actually in the counterclockwise direction so Me magnitude is the internal bending moment at the cross section through E magnitude is 2.26 Newton meter and it is in the counterclockwise direction so this is Me this is Ve and this is the normal internal loading at the cross-section through E. So this is the solution of this particular problem I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibler.